Welcome to the next episode of vSphere Breakroom Break Chats. I'm your host, Glenn Simon, Product Marketing Manager for vSphere. Uh, in this video blog series, we showcase VMware experts to talk about different aspects of vSphere. Today, we're talking with Chandra Prathuri, uh, Senior Director, Product Management for vSphere. I hope I got your last name pronounced right there, Chandra. Yes, uh, Glenn, okay, thank great. you. Uh, and welcome, Chandra. Uh, first, Chandra, tell us a little about your background and, and as well as your current responsibility on the vSphere team. Sure, yeah, I've been at VMware for about 10 years uh, doing multiple projects. I used to be part of the VRealize product management team for the past couple of years in the vSphere product management team, uh, driving uh, vCenter and many aspects of vSphere, as well as uh, um, initiated this project Arctic, which resulted in vSphere Plus and vSend Plus. Uh, before that, I spent time in different organizations uh, in networking, security, financial industry, and so on. Okay, great. Yeah, uh, you mentioned vSphere Plus, which is uh, the big news for us today. Uh, just in the last few weeks, we went GA, and a couple of weeks prior to that, we announced vSphere Plus. So uh, why did we, as the lead product manager on vSphere Plus, why did we why, why did we build vSphere Plus? What was, you know, what was the driving force behind it? So as we've been talking to customers, uh, you know, one of the big things that our customers have been telling us is one, they wanted cloud-like experience for their on-premise infrastructure. Basically, they gotten used to, when they started using public clouds, they realized the flexibility, but at the same time, you know, Customers want to run applications on their on-premise infrastructure, want to manage and control the infrastructure, not only for flexibility, but also for the costs. So with that in perspective, what we started working on is, you know, how can we provide our customers a cloud-like consumption management and developer experience, and at the same time, make it easy for the customer to uh, decide where to put more, more workloads. And in that context, we provided a, you know, our, our, our plan is to enable our customers to expand their infrastructure when they need it, uh, where they need it. So as an example, if the customer wants an additional you know, server, instead of buying a server, they can simply expand to a VMware cloud. So that is the context behind why we start building this Plus is to give them cloud experience and also bring cloud to their fingertips. I see. So you kind of like you know, bring the cloud to them, uh, if, if you will, so that they can you know kind of gain a lot of those cloud benefits and yet still kind of remain on prem at least for the workloads that that make sense on prem. So what personally, from your perspective, because you've been working on this for how long? I mean, so we started this project about eight months ago. Um, that's when we started working on it and with the desire to bring cloud to our customers and give them cloud experience. And that's what announced in the last few world was Project Arctic. And that resulted in actually the delivery of this new uh, offering vSphere Plus and vSend Plus. Yeah, so it's been a long road. Now, just from a personal perspective, what excites you most about this release? So um, the big thing is uh, how we are simplifying customers, uh, you know, experience, right? Our customers are challenged with lack of ta uh, the unavailability of talent, and uh, many of our customers have been telling us to um, in op improve the operational experience, the lifecycle management experience of our products uh, on the on-prem because they're increasingly finding it difficult to find. People. The second is. They want a consumption experience that, um, you know, uh, that's, that's, that makes it easy for them to subscribe to the services that they want on an as needed basis. And more importantly, enable their developers to easily create applications on the vSphere Plus platform. So we were able to put these three personas together and provided a set of services that enabled these three personas. And that's what resulted in vSphere Plus and vSend Plus, and that's the exciting part. So, so you've, you've already kind of talked about a, a number of um, reasons why customers might be interested in vSphere. Are there any other, any other reasons you can think um, why customers might be interested in taking a look at vSphere Plus? 
Yes, so uh, one, of course, the uh, customers, instead of managing each of the vSphere and Mara deployments and independently, they can have a single plane of glass across their vSphere deployments, be it on their own premise, be it on any other VMware cloud or on their partner clouds. Uh, secondly, the developers, you know, instead of figuring out where to create applications, they can get a, a simple experience in vSphere Plus where they can create new applications, run them on any vSphere, whether it is on-prem or cloud, um, and can construct the applications with the services that they're looking for and operate them. And, and as a procurement person or, or a manager of the infrastructure, they can buy based on their needs. They can increase their consumption, they can uh, they don't have to deal with their license keys anymore. It's all cloud-based metering and billing. Interesting. Okay, so uh, a <clears throat> lot of a uh, lot of excitement around the current you know the current announcement that we just had around vSphere Plus, and you know everyone's still learning about it. But you know some people are asking about what's next for vSphere Plus. Like for example, I've heard people asking, well, what about VMware Cloud on AWS? Is there any plans to kind of bring vSphere Plus together with VMC? Uh, I've heard people ask about the vRealize offerings. Is there any kind of plan to integrate with those? Um, can you give us any insight into kind of what, what you guys are looking at down the road? Yes. Yeah, so vSphere Plus is the starting point of a journey. Of, you know, and that journey is vSphere Plus enables customers to connect to our VMware cloud and while keeping their infrastructure, their workloads on prem, getting cloud experience. And once that, and as I said, this is a starting point, this enables us to provide more valuable services to our customers. As an example, customer wants to expand capacity instead of waiting to buy a server, they can simply expand capacity in our VMware Cloud and AWS as an example. And then use the same management plane to manage those clusters or those workloads. Or the customer wants to protect certain workloads of a disaster recovery. So instead of having to figure out buying at another service, through the same offering and same workloads, customer can right click on the VMs and their workloads and say protect them. In the background, we instantiate our VCDR service. Or the customer can have some basic troubleshooting experience with uh, vSphere Plus integrated with VROps Cloud, as an example. And in addition, for developers, you know, they get some basic, they get the developer capabilities or services with vSphere Plus. If they want multi cloud developer capabilities, they can simply sign up to the Tanzu offering. So there are many things that we're doing uh, over the coming months to offer more value to our customers um, and simplify their uh, experience in the process and uh, you know, enable them to drive more value out of the service. Now, one of the differences with vSphere Plus, I believe, uh, or so I've heard is uh, with vSphere, of course, every, what is it, every six months or so, we come out with an update with new, some new functionality. But I guess with vSphere Plus, uh, because a lot of these capabilities are, are SaaS based, we can introduce them anytime. Is that, is that correct? That's correct. So we, we can incrementally add more services and more capabilities in our cloud portal without impacting the customer environment. So it's it's uh, so that gives us a lot more flexibility to develop, and at the same time, customers can derive value in a much more um, rapid manner versus having to upgrade their uh, uh, on-premise vSphere software. So I guess that means that some of the new stuff that you're talking about that we're already working on, customers might even see it before uh, six months from now, right? We might even see it maybe. Maybe it, maybe we might hear something about it at VMware Explorer. Absolutely. So the the velocity of our development has significantly changed with this uh, services offerings, and our ability to deliver capabilities also increased because we can 
We have multiple teams, multiple services getting built, and they all show up in the same portal. And this also enables us to um, bring the boundaries between our various VMware products, uh, break those boundaries and bring those workflows uh, based on customers' context on how they want, uh, what operation they want to perform. Okay, great. Sounds sound exciting. So, uh, well, that's all the time we have for a break room, uh, for this break room chat. Time to get back to work. Uh, thank you, Chandra, for joining us today. And for everyone else, please join us next time for another episode of episode of the vSphere Break Room Chat. Uh, I'm your host, Glenn Simon, signing off for now. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.